I agree with PM on taking time and doing this properly. I would like to also reiterate the point that Mr. Lee was a giant among pioneer leaders. And I would not be wrong to say that he was much loved and respected by many. Throughout his life, he had touched so many lives and communities. People from all walks of life feel connected to him, and I think in many different levels and ways. So I would like to ask PM, when we do honour his life, how do we ensure inclusivity where all groups and communities can connect and relate to which we are honouring him and all the pioneer leaders and founding fathers? Thank you. Uh, Madam Speaker, that is a very important question, and that is why we are taking some time over the matter. It's not a matter of just having the right place or the right structure, but also a process by which we can involve people in discussing what is the best way to honour him, how can we develop this idea, conceptualise this idea of a, some sort of memorial for the founders, which is more than just a memorial, and have people feel that this is something which is right for Singapore and the right way to do it. And then after that, we find the correct place and then we make the right design. And you must have also, if we are going to have a gallery and information and education, the right activities, so that everybody feels that this is part of our common heritage. Every country, as it develops its history, needs to develop these icons, these sacred memories and sacred places. We are early in the process. We are starting. 